So today I wanted to chat with you on how to grow your business exponentially while staying in your zone of genius and your gift. And this is key. So today I wanted to chat with you on how to grow your business exponentially while staying in your zone of genius and your gift. And this is key, especially as a spiritual messenger, channel, teacher, healer, and light worker. It is imperative that you stay within your gift. And the number one thing that you have to start to implement right away is outsourcing. You have to be able and willing to outsource the tasks that are not part of what you are gifted at. And so this is part of my SOS formula, building a scalable program, outsourcing and systematizing. I've done another video on this in my Soul Align Success series, so you're welcome to check that out. But today I wanna to specifically talk about your messaging in my business. The one thing that I will not outsource is my content creation. So obviously my videos and my posts, um, especially long copy captions and things like that. Like those are coming from me. I don't subscribe to like anything that's like, um, here's some cookie cutter boxed kind of, um, prompts on what you should post for today. You know, like they sell templates and stuff like that for you. And I am specifically against those things because I understand the magic, the gift, part of my mission is my message. And that has to come to me and through me as a channel. And so it's very important to give yourself the time and the space to be able to create within your zone of genius and be that channel, that messenger, that teacher, that healer, because that's really the essence of why you're here trying to build a spiritual business to begin with. And so oftentimes though, we're, you, you could be masterful at other things. You could be really good at other aspects, but that still doesn't mean you shouldn't outsource them. So a quick example of this would be like, um, I'm really good at, you know, I. I like to be creative so I can spend a lot of time creating a sales page. You know, I can get lost for hours coming up with photos and colors and design and restructuring it and this and that. And before you know it, like I'll get sucked in and like half a day or a whole day has gone by and I've been working on a sales page. This was before, this was a long time ago. Um, and even though that's fun and it's creative, it's not my zone of genius. It's not what I'm truly here to give back. It's not truly my gift, right? And so um, I'm really good at systematizing things, you know? So I could build out my own funnel, but I choose to outsource that so someone else can do it because it doesn't make sense for me to be doing it because my zone of genius and my gift is to be a content creator, right? To show up in my energy, to show up with my message, to share my gift, to speak my truth and to allow the divine to channel through me with whatever messages needed to be, need to be shared for whoever needs to hear them. And so this is really part of releasing the control around your business and moving more into a position where you're, you know, you're, this is just stepping into more of a, a CEO of your business instead of working in your business. And this is imperative. So first and foremost, outsourcing the things that you, that are not your gift and that you're, that are outside of your creative genius. And even if they are things that you're skillful at or m masterful or very skillful at, doesn't mean that you should still, you should be doing them really, you really want to tune into where your gift is, what your zone of genius is, what you really, you can't outsource. It has to come from you. 
and <clears throat> and you want to outsource everything else right this is so key and regarding scaling and systematizing this is obviously key as well if you want to be able to create a bigger global impact with your business you have to be built to scale and systematize the the process within your business so that way it happens on um autopilot behind the scenes so everything is like working like clockwork for you this is very very key um and so i want you to just ask yourself what is it that i really should be showing up and doing and where am i spending time in my business working in my business on administrative tasks or marketing tasks or um, sales tasks and, and other things that you could be outsourcing it's very it's so so important to be able to build especially now it's so easy to build a VA team around you that you can piece out certain aspects of your business without having the red tape and the overhead of a full-time employee um, someone that specializes in specific things so for example I have someone that re does my podcast publishing I have someone that does my post video you know editing I have someone that does um, you know repurposing my social media content I have um, someone that pitches me on podcasts i have an administrative assistant you know i have a marketing assistant so i have a lot of help um, and the reason for this is because i want to be able to scale and make sure i'm showing up in my highest and best and most you know supported energy in order to share my gift and my message with the world right Obviously, I want to be able to show up in the highest energy for my clients and hold space in that area, in that realm, and that requires that I am fully charged, right? I am fully charged and ready to go, and yeah, I'm not coming from an empty cup. I'm not depleted, right? And so it's imperative if you want to make a massive global impact, and it's also imperative if you want to have the lifestyle that you deserve on the back end so you can show up in that space for yourself. So scaling, outsourcing, and systematizing is key if you want to catapult your business very, very quickly because what happens when you stay in your zone of genius and you stay within your gift and what it is you're truly being called to bring forth into the world? You are energetically move in alignment. You are magnetic, you know, versus doing the tasks um, that are draining your energy, right? It's, it's an energy leak for your business. So on an energetic level, I know if you're watching this and you're still with me, you get what I'm saying. This is an energy leak and you want to you want to seal up all those leaks so you can really um, stay within what your, you know, in your own lane, energetically in alignment with what it is you're feeling called to create with your call and with your mission, with your message. So you're not depleting your energy by spreading yourself too thin. In the end, it's going to allow you to make a bigger impact. It's going to allow you to help more people it's going to allow you to make more money and it's going to allow you to have more freedom so it's a win 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 all around it's going to be able to help you service your clients better so when something's in alignment it's always a win for all involved it's a, it's a win for your mission it's a win for your clients it's a win for your lifestyle it's a win for your bank account it's a win for your freedom it's a win 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 no sacrificing required but you have to be willing to release the control outsource and systematize the things in your business that are keeping your energy scattered, right? So I just wanted to pop in here with this because this is something that I see a lot of passionate spiritual entrepreneurs with huge gifts, missions, and messages to, you know, to share with the world, being bogged down by the details of their business. And there's a reason why my Instagram handle is called Spiritual CEO. I mix the energy and the spiritual with the practical business strategies that are required in order for you to catapult your business to the next level. Implement the 3D strategies that are required so you can stay in your zone of genius as the energetic catalyst that you are. 
So I hope this video finds you well. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below this video, wherever you happen to be watching it. If it really resonates with you, this is exactly what I help my spiritual entrepreneurs do inside Sacred Leader Academy. And if you wanna get a taste of what that's about, then you can hop on the Soul Line Success Masterclass below this video, wherever you happen to be watching it. And if that video resonates with you, um, you you'll be invited to hop on a 60 minute strategy session with me where I can help you map out a six figure soul aligned business blueprint for yourself and um, then we can go from there so I hope this video finds you well and I look forward to tuning in with you in another episode very soon namaste